Hello there, I am Giant Go with my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last part we took on... What was it, um... I forget, actually, um... It was Mount... Um... I don't know, um... We were all come back to Pokemon Square, we chased off Gengar. And, um... We, I, in between missions, I, um... In between videos, I should say, I did three missions. And I did a lot of training at the Makita Dojo, but let's continue on with the story. This. This dream again. It's been a while. Hey look, there's Gardevoir. You're Gardevoir. Yes. Gardevoir. There's so much I want to ask you. Why did you appear in my dreams? Why do you appear in my dreams? As an Ancient of Spirits, I must watch over you. Because this is my rule now. An ancient of spirits? Yes. I fell under the curse of nine tails in the place in the place of a trainer, and became a presence. Uh, I think presence uh, without a physical form like this. Trainer, you mean the human that was in the nine tail, in the legend of about nine tails? It's awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yes, my trainer was a terrible person. Mean and conniving. My trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But, I don't hate my trainer. That's a lot. I mean... Gardevoir, how do you not hate your trainer for letting it do that to you and stuff? Huh? Don't hate your trainer? Why not? Well, I wonder why myself... I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow I can't bring myself to feel hatred. That's very nice of you. My trainer has some quirks, but there were good qualities too. And when it happened, it, I was desperate. When it happened? You mean Ninetales Curse? Yes. I protected the trainer from Ninetales Curse, from Ninetales Curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is only our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. Oh, that's very nice of you. We guard of war are that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what guard of war did. Oh, I must, I must mention, I don't mind this, the form I have taken. I live on this way with pride in the role I have been given. Role? Yes. All things have a role. They are severe. They, they all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play. You too have a role to fill. You have come to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? What? Er wow, earthquake. No, wait. I need to know more. So I have a roll now? Interesting. The next morning. There was an earthquake. Wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. Shocked face. Um, that's it. She did say something. A flashback. Awesome. Nice. You have... Come to perform a certain role, and for that role, you became a Pokemon. Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a role. What did she mean by that? Interesting, we'll have to figure that out later. But there's Cody right there waiting for us outside the rescue team base. Good morning, Steven. Huh, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Oh, I get it. That earthquake earlier. That earthquake earlier. Steven, you're worried about the same thing I am. I shouldn't get. I shouldn't have guessed, Steven. Alkizen's team hasn't come back yet. They say they say that Groudon is powerful. That has me a little worried. But Alkizen's team is tough too. They should be fine. Anyway, we should. Anyway, we sh agreed to let Alkizen deal with Groudon. We don't have any choice. We have to visit for them to come back. We have to wait for them to come back. I haven't said that the first time. We have to do what we can for our part. So let's do our best with the rescue team. 
Um, I'm gonna take. Oh wait. Oh, hold on. There's a cutscene. Uh, um. Here's a here's a why not and a Waba Fett. Um, I'm why not and this is Waba Fett. Now Waba Fett only speaks its name in this game. Um, well other Pokemon can like speak English and stuff. Um, but Waba Fett just says Waba Fett. Uh, we have a we have a notice on the bulletin board outside the Pokemon post office. Waba Fett. Please look at it for me. Please please. Waba Fett. Please help me. I have. To go now. Wabafet. So yeah. I guess we can do that. What was that? What were what was that all about? That little Pokemon. Did the boy say he was a why not? I think he wanted us to look at the bulletin board at the Pelopper Post Office. Maybe why not and his friends friend have a problem on their hands. So they may have to a they may have a help wanted Notice on the bulletin board. Only one thing to do. Let's check. Go check the proposed office's bulletin board. That's exactly what we're gonna do. But first, I want to take um Ace to the um all the friend mission uh, f the, at the friend area for the next rescue mission. Um, I also um I recruited a Poochiana that's level five now because I leveled up twice in the um, Thunder Wave Cave when I was doing a rescue mission in Thunder Wave Cave. So it's a Poochian and stuff. I'm gonna take out Ace though. Hopefully, I think Poochian is in the same area, isn't it? Or maybe not. Ah, man, I didn't mean to do that. I have to go back and try that again. I was just trying to see if Poochian was in the game, in the same friend area Absol is. Which it doesn't look like it, actually. Okay. Okay, so, um, Absol. Well, I, I gotta explain some things. Um, yeah, Absol is at level 24 now. Um,. I'm now a gold rank, or not a gold rank, I'm now a bronze rank with 95 points, rescue team points. Because, um, I think I took one mission in, um, the Great Canyon, which gave me 40 rescue points. And I think, um, you have to get, I think if you get 50 rescue points, you're a bronze rank then. You get bronze rank then, so that's pretty cool. So yeah. Um, as for my levels with the team, okay, 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 friend. Okay, um, well, actually, I'll just, let's just join, uh, let's just tell Absol to join our team, or Ace to join our team. And then we can check the levels when we get back. Okay, cool. Team Cody is now level 23, I think. Yeah, 23. Um, and I am level, um, 24, yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's do normal runs. This will be a short video because it's just in between rescue, uh, in between big rescue missions and stuff. Um, bye. Um, I'm gonna buy that maxi works, but I don't have enough money yet. I have to withdraw, I have to withdraw some money from the bank. Okay. What do you have to offer? Fuck, secret power. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go to the King of Scott storage first. Store. Okay, so. Go box 10. Go box 3. Cherry berry. That should be good. Let me see my. Let me see what I have in the bag, too. Um. Uh, that should be good. Um, I'm gonna buy them out of the Max Elixir real quick. Um, let me withdraw some money from the bank. I just need a little bit more. So take. Um, if I can do the math right here quickly. So 200 minus 250 minus 208 is 42. So I need 42 dollars out of the bank. So let me do that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Exactly 250. Awesome. Thanks, Persian. Let's buy that maxi elixir. There we go. Nice, okay. And we can talk to the people around the square. I'm gonna talk to Bell Sprout and all of them just because. Oh, wasn't it shocking? The earthquake was terrible. Yeah. A little shaken up from it, I guess. That quake was something else. It caught me by surprise. I almost drowned into the pond. Oh, that's not good. 
One brace. Sorry about. Sorry to hear that. What's that? Has Alakaz Alakazam's team returned? I'm not sure. I haven't seen them around the square. I don't think Alakazam's team has come back. Not yet. They're working on Groudon, I guess. Th that earthquake here was wicked. If I can if it can only, if it can only happen, can happen here. With the, will more serious natural disasters come to the square? Interesting question, Snubble. I don't know. What we'll to see? I want to show off right, real quick that the Makuhita did Dojo. I completed all the uh, new types and everything. So like if I say go train and see I beat a normal maze, fire maze, water maze, grass maze, electric maze, ice maze, fighting maze, ground maze, flying maze, psychic maze, steel maze, dark maze, dragon mage. Dra the dragon maze for like my, since I'm a water type and my partner is a fire type and I took um, ace and my Absol to all these um, extra training missions so I can get level up too. Um, the dragon maze wasn't actually that hard. Rock maze, bug maze, poison maze. Um, what helped me was I um, did this trick where um, I went to the ice maze because I can handle ice type Pokemon. Because Cody, um, I used I made sure he only used Ember and used exclusive move user as uh, IQ tactic, whatever. And um, what happened was um, I went, I got to the second floor, and I was when I found the stairs, I held down A and B right next to the stairs to where all these like poly swines, snubbles, and all that and snow runs kept on um, coming to the stairs where I was at, and we just knocked them out from there because it's really easy, especially with poly swine being part ground or half ground type, and me being water type it was super effective on the poly swine. So it worked out really good. I did some, I, as I said, I'm a little bit over leveled, I think, because at this time you want to be like level 22. But again, I'm like level 24, so I'm a little bit over leveled, which is okay, I guess. I mean, that's always good to have, so I don't struggle, I guess. I don't know. Something, I don't know. We'll have to see how it plays out. And Cody's level 23 again, and Absol's level 24. So everyone's level 24, except for Cody, he's just level 23, level behind us, but that's okay. It's all good. So I just wanted to show that off there, and hopefully that trick will work with you. Just find a maze that's you're super effective and don't struggle at, but still give decent experience with the Pokemon. And then just hold down A and B until, um, on the second floor, um, w when you find the steps. Because when you hit the second floor and go up the steps to the third floor, that's the boss room where the f you fight Pokemon. And it's a good way to train, so that's really good. Whoa, I can't relax. My whiskers, they tell me of... They tell me of coming earthquakes, and many quakes are indeed coming. That's interesting. Wish Cash, you're probably right on that. Let's talk to Caterpie. That earthquake really frightened me. I was so scared I spat silk over the place. Okay, that's cool, I guess. It was a mess for everyone. Okay, Caterpie, jeez. I hardened when the quake hit. I couldn't take a step. I, w I was just shaking inside my shell. Whoa, thinking about it is so is scary. Okay, um, other than that, we can go to the Pelper Post Office now. You could just do that immediately, but I just want to talk to everyone on the score and catch up on them. Uh, we can talk to D Diggler and Duck Trio real quick. Well, son, doesn't it feel good to look over the sea? Yes, Papa. Papa? Okay, you already said the same. You say the same thing. You say the same thing. Oh, wait, no. The, the Papa goes teleporting everywhere and goes to different places. What do you take us for, Gasp? Yes, he's a little tired from doing all that. Papa, you're so special. <laughs> okay. So, um, go to your bulletin board, and you can see all these rescue missions, but the one you want to pay attention to is Punish Bad Mankey. But I want to see any some of these rewards, if I can, um, reward 200 Pokey, um, 200 Pokey plus mystery, special band plus mystery item, I guess, 400 Pokey. Okay, that's um, what we'll get to next actually. Okay, we'll just take the um, upper forest one. Punch Bad Mankey. And this little cutscene will happen. There was a job posted on the bulletin board which said, Punish Bad Mankey. Did you two put up that job? Yup, yup. Waba fat. A Bad Mankey gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone is upset. Waba fat. We don't know why they they rampage around. But they are always angry and attack anyone they see. Wabafet. Oh no, that is that is a problem. Steven, we should go. Thank you, we're counting on you. Wabafet. Yeah, so now the upper forest is able to be explored. So that's good. Now, um, the upper forest is 10 forest. It has mainly just grass and bug type Pokemon. So if you're fire type, 
or your partner's a fire type, it's a real easy time. Um, it's only 10 fours, as I said, and um, there's a boss fight on the 10th floor. Um, and um, what was I gonna say? Um, it's kind of like Mount Steel, but one foot longer. It's kind of that skill level. It's really not hard. You shouldn't really struggle with it. Um, so yeah, um, other than that, when you're when you're ready to go to Upper Force, you can first save your game, um, and then go to Upper Force if you want. That's what I'm get. That's what I'm gonna do. So this, this has been the end of my Pokemon Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walk the Guide part. And next part, we'll take on the Upper Force and hopefully settle down that Mankey Gang so they don't cause more trouble in the forest. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to mention again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mission Engine Red Rescue Team Walkthrough Guide. And I'm sorry, this wasn't actually a short video. It's 16 minutes in real time. Ah uh, man, I, hope it, I wish it was shorter. It should have been shorter. Sorry about that, guys. See you guys in the next part.